What a f hassle and what trouble Caitlin Clark is causing everyone. Not no, because Caitlin now? Clark does anything wrong. She's just <laughs> making her threes and trying to be a good basketball player. And she seems like a pretty nice young lady, I guess. I don't know what else to say about her. But everyone is losing their shit over her. Um, first of all, uh, let's start with Stephen A. Smith, who yesterday has Monica McNutt on uh, after they're talking about the, you know, this girl checking her and knocking her down and calling her a bitch or whatever, which, to be honest, I have to tell you, I think most of the, most of those of us who observe the world just said, oh, yeah, that's best, kind of a shitty game. foul, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't that big a deal. No, I was one acting like this is was such a big deal to all of us. No, it's not. It's you guys in the yeah. media who insist on making uh, such hay over how anyone responds to anything. Uh, I mean, people are watching women's well, plus, basketball. That should be great. But it's the precious Caitlin Clark, right? I mean, all their hopes and dreams are tied in this this white girl. But I didn't see a lot of people saying, "Oh my God, how could that happen to Caitlin?" I didn't see a lot of people saying that. Well, I thought it was really funny and. I was telling Brandon this too. Nobody ever saw the beginning part of the video too, where she's jawing at the chick. Yeah, it's just a play in basketball. Exactly. I don't, I don't think for, it was that good big for a deal. Their sport. But it Stephen really a, Stephen A. Smith has Monica McNutt, McNutt on. I don't even know who she is. She's a commentator on uh, the WNBA, I guess, and she does some other stuff. There's some gay guy in the panel too. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Monica McNutt. You didn't see the panel? Oh, yeah, Shannon <laughs> Sharp. Yeah, some, oh, that's who that is? <laughs> uh, he didn't say a lot. It was dangerous territory whenever it's the WNBA for him. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> this is what's driving me crazy. Okay, I'm trying to remember back to when, before the NBA blew up, before college basketball blew up, before the NHL blew up, because the NHL used to be kind of far down there, didn't have good TV deals. The NBA, before it bird and magic, was really not anything close to what it is now, but I don't remember everyone crying about people who didn't cover them enough five years earlier. Do you remember that when all those NBA people were like, where were you five years ago? Yeah, not at all. I don't remember that. But this is what everyone is complaining about now. It's like, now that people are paying attention, they're like, see, it was always great. No, no there wasn't really a lot for people to be interested in generally and i'm not sure caitlin clark is going to keep people's eyes on the wnba for the next 20 years but uh monica mcnutt has to give stephen a smith all this shit he's talking about this this play this controversy quote unquote but she has to give him shit and he's so pissed about this go ahead just play it we're talking about them maximizing their great potential and because we bring that up and talk about what potentially might get in their way which we do to men all the time now we got to sit up here and watch every syllable i resent that and i'll leave it at all right that. so let me so let me i know we got to go to break i know we got to go to break welcome to the world of being a woman Stephen a and how you have to dance about your word choice and you have gotcha. to please everybody and anybody as you navigate your being. we are talking about i understand what i feel talking like about the women that say this they're acting, they're not just talking about basketball. They're talking, welcome to being a woman, woman, where you have to be perfect. You have to have a job and you have to raise children. And you have to, it's like, what does this have to do with basketball? What was Stephen A. saying before that? I didn't, in, didn't get what he was, what his He was saying was. that he has to dance around his words because right. we're talking about a white player and a black player. And we're talking about women versus men. And um, so she, of course, has to say, oh. Well, you should be a woman. He doesn't and have then, to dance around his words, though. Stephen A. Smith dancing around words. Uh, I think he feels that. There's, well, there's some delicacy around people like her. Just, just listen to her. Go ahead. Being, we are talking about the world's greatest. How about athletes being a black man? B okay, being black. Hold on one second. Have you, have you, so, so no, this Shannon is what just I'm woke up. To y'all though, and I know we got to go black break, man and, and woke up. We didn't necessarily go there. Maybe we should. There are so many layers in this conversation around the way that it's being discussed. No, there aren't. When you right, no, no, no. And yes, Shannon, I know y'all are going to say you know, and Stephen A. I know you're going to. You, you just shared that you have talked about the WNBA on your program too. You guys may not have said everybody, but the prevailing sentiment for folks that are just joining the WNBA and following women's sports is unfair to the women of this league. To your point, who have laid the ground work for Caitlin Clark to come in and now take it to the next level. That's all I'm Pause saying in these second. conversations. 
Can people shut the fuck up about this? How often? What is this? What is the problem? Okay, Caitlin Clark, no, she didn't play the last 20 years. She couldn't because she was a kid. <laughs> How often do we talk about the Celtics who paved the way for Magic and Bird or, or no. Dr. J? No, that's what I mean. I mean, who? Dr. J just doesn't get enough credit. He paved the way for those two. No, it's insane. It's like, you know, I hear athletes say this, that, oh, I wish I'd played in the big money days. It's too bad I played in the 80s. It's too bad I played yeah. in the 70s. But they don't take it out on these people like, you don't give me enough credit. Yeah. This constant, this was a fucking charity league. This league doesn't exist without the money of the NBA. It did not make it on its own. It was, it was held up by the NBA's money. They should be thankful they got what they did. And people have been jamming. Uh, ESPN in particular, they've been cranking these games out when they didn't get ratings for years. They've not been cheated out of anything. No. Let her, let her finish, even though I don't want to Kennedy hear. Carter's behavior is not indicative of the entire league. We are still talking about it competition where you are allowed to get a little extra elbow in if you are competing and you do it within the parameters of the game. The game is physical. Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. No, it's not all you. That's not all you said. Who talks about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more more than the more than first take? Stephen A. Respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. <laughs> He's frozen. All right, we gotta wow. go. To, you wow. guys. So, so did you, you know you're my show? guy, but who does more for the, the, than Stephen us? A., I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Wow. Don't do that. I'm talking to you about the oh, power that you have. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. <laughs> okay. It's, okay. It's, right, let, let's, I got you, it. my guy. But I'm talking it. to you. Guys, I got guys, it. guys, guys. You, I really you, appreciate you've missed, you're my girl. But you've missed a lot of episodes of First Take. You missed okay. a lot. Stephen, guys, three years ago, you were not talking about the W Great, at this Mom. level. Don't do that. Guys, 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 guys. guys, 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 guys. Monica, you making Stephen A. Point, Monica. Shut up, Monica. You making Stephen A. Point. Let me do my job. Someone get a dick for shit. We've gone for 40 minutes straight. It was a riveting discussion. I have to get in the commercial break. So now, my big question is. What's the Emmy Award behind her for? Oh, yeah, she has to make sure that's out there. <laughs> Did you notice? Yeah. The whole time she's talking, that. I'm like, wait, what does she have an Emmy Award for? Stephen A. did a podcast after this, and he basically was like, uh, I made Monica McNutt! Oh. I made! He didn't, he didn't say that. They said he was saying that, but he said, I had her on my show when nobody knew who she was, nobody cared about any of this stuff, and I had her on, and I had this girl on, I had this girl on, this girl on. He seemed, he did Which see, is probably true. He seems a little thin-skinned about the whole argument. Who, I, I didn't understand why he had to argument. jump it's such a dumb argument. Why does he have to be talking more about the NBA three years, WNBA three no, years he ago? Doesn't. He's talking about it now. He doesn't, but why did he have to bring up, nobody has done more with the WNBA than me. It's like, oh, that was that was what? stupid. I agree. That wasn't even her point, though. But well, with a, without ESPN, there would be no WNBA. The ESPN the talked NBA, about be, WNBA yeah. more. Anyway, so later on, I see Jamel Hill being interviewed, which is like, oh God, please. And Jamel Hill said, among other things, uh, the WNBA is a more physical league than the NBA. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> then Angel Reese, you know, all we hear about is that. Oh, my God, Caitlin Clark needs to acknowledge those who came before her. She is so lucky. She's a great player. By the way, She's a really good player. Why does she have to constantly, and she has acknowledged them. So why, does, why do people go on and on about this? There might be a little more physicality in banging around on the WNBA because they don't get off the ground. <laughs> right? They're not as, no, I'm, I'm being very serious. They play an older style basketball with, with you know, picks and post-ups. But the okay. NBA, come on, there's way more athleticism in the end. It's not even uh, close. We'll just, uh, I'll just take Jamel's word it's for it. It's fucking ridiculous. But uh, anyway, so Angel Reese, it seems to me, she's not respecting the players before her based on what she had to say. Is everyone going to rip Angel Reese a new ass for this? It all started from the national championship game, and I've been dealing with this for two years now. And understanding, like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me, but honestly, I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball, but you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas, like, just because of one single game. And just looking at that, like, I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role, and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, the, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watch watching women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me, too, and I want y'all to realize that. It all started. What is so all? So she she wants to be the heel. What she is wants her do? No, but she's saying all the success is because of me and Caitlin Clark. 
That's what she's referring to. She's referring uh, to it's not because of one person, because of two people. Hmm. Well, she's not the one that checked her. Seems to me that's disrespecting all the people that came before you. So are they going to tear her ass up all day today? Nah. What's with all these fucking lectures we have to get from this stupid league? Because I'm out. If I have to be <laughs> lectured every five minutes, I'm not paying attention to this league. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, anyway, on all this, all, Jamel Hill, too, all this talk about, oh, she's white, she's straight. Um, and when someone black does something to somebody white, oh, it's an entirely different discussion. You guys are the ones talking about it. I don't. Is everyone out there going? Oh, poor Kayla. Cla I don't no. see people saying no one's that. Doing that at all? No, it gets attention because she's easily the biggest player in that league. So yeah, they're so determined that uh, that Caitlin Clark get the big privilege crown when the privilege crown belongs to Bronny James. Nobody's going to talk about it. Uh, but he is the nepotism king, the privilege king. He's not a star either. Caitlin Clark is a star. She's a good player. Isn't she putting up numbers? Yeah. Yeah, she's putting so up. So why does she get all this shit? And why does Bronny James get none? Because I don't hear any of these ESPN people talking about Bronny James owes this to to this person and that person. No, he does to one one person. But nobody talks about it. LeBron. They just talk about the fact that, uh, oh, I, I have him at 55 in my mock draft, and, uh, you know, he had such a great, uh, he had such a great trial. They're trying to treat him just like any other prospect. <laughs> yeah, they're doing a great job.